A severed head on a pike seemed such a grisly trophy to be displayed in the chapel at Chalon. And yet it took me weeks before I got up the nerve to ask Father Armand why he kept it. The ancient priest stared out of the window for a long time, recalling days gone by. I was there, he said finally, at the battle of the Catalonian fields, fighting alongside Aetius and Theodoric the God. I knew there had been a battle here decades ago. Peasants still overturned skeletons and broken shields with their plows from time to time. Who was it, Father? I asked him. Who were you fighting? He turned back to regard me, paralyzing me with his old man's stare. Attila the Hun, he said. And then he told me the story. The Huns rode out from the wilderness sometime in the 370s, eager to feast on a Roman Empire weak from internal corruption and the expansion of other barbarian tribes. It was the Huns who drove many of these other barbarians before them. They were terrifying warriors from the steppes of Asia. Their bodies disfigured from ritual scarring. Their legs deformed from a near lifetime in the saddle. Despite their fearsome aspect, the Huns might have been little more than raiders, had it not been for the leadership of Attila. He called himself the Scourge of God. Attila and his brother Bleda led the Huns not just to raid, but to devastate Scythia and Persia. challenge my every decision. It is as if you seek to lead the Huns yourself. Very well. The iron boar lairs near here. Let the one who kills this mighty beast lead our people. This way, Attila. Follow. Leda will lead us to ruin. Perhaps he should not return from his boar hunts. Accidents can happen. Mitle Woods Tree. Woods Tree. Tracks, brother. See if you can ride ahead and flush the boar out. Mitle Woods Tree. Team Woods Tree. When Attila returns to camp, he alone will rule the Huns. Attila murdered Bleda! We were too late to stop the bloodshed! We are left with an honorless cur for a leader. Now what were you doing in the forest, Mitle noble archer, if not waiting to ambush Attila at Bleda's command? They are best rid of Bleda. Hail Attila! Emo. Attila is king of the Huns. He will lead us to victory against our blood enemies. Emo. Or Hatcher. Some time ago, the Romans captured a number of Han villages. Bleda arranged for their return. I did not trust Bleda, and I do not trust the Romans. We should free them. No bargaining! Well done. 
Barlachung, This Roman come to the ground. Belgium clear woods tree. Woods tree. We clear woods tree. Keep woods tree. Keep riding dash.
Bilimbahan. Shimo. Bilim. Tosha sans. Uutstri. Mitle uutstri. Uutstri. Mitle uutstri. Shad, I shad. Shh. Zacher. Zacher. Парлахчун, парлахчун, парлахчун. Битым бан. Урхачун.
захар уур хаачин тасгарчин Парлахчан. 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 Bisschen bei Motzchen. Urhatschen.
son su madre. Uh, okay.
Cadê? T 
Timo. Zaza. Amor Mindu, Mokchung. Bidim Ban. Bidim Ban. Or Hatching. Barlachung wise to withdraw from our domain and pursue your petty conquests elsewhere, Hans.
loot. Our arrangement was hey. with the blader. I will not turn the captives over to Attila. You must take them by force. Захар өөр хачин Бэлэн байна өөр хачин Барилгчин Zeker. Hemo. Wait, I am the son of Leopoxus, a leader among my people. If you free me, you will be rewarded. We are saved. My thanks for rescuing me. We nomads should work together. Perhaps if your leader Attila will visit our village in the west, our people can make an alliance. For now, a truce? Timo, Verdachtung. Timo. Verdachtung. Amr Mindu. Verdachtung. 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 Amr Mindu, people for you. Bitten Bata Timo Touch me, Bitten Bata is touch. Bitten Bain, very touching.
Parsons. Il te gusta. Father Armand more about this legendary Attila the Hun, whom the stories always treat as more of a monster than a man. He was a man, the priest said, but he did not look like the Romans, nor did he worship the Roman god. That was the cause of all that was to follow. Father Armand shivered as if from the cold breeze that blew in from the chapel's open windows. Kingship among the barbarians was not by divine right or lineage, but by who had the strongest will. Attila was the strongest of the Huns and he reinforced his position by brandishing a rusty old blade and proclaiming it to be the sword of Mars, the old Roman god of war. Attila had a custom of fiercely rolling his eyes as if he wished to enjoy the terror that he inspired. He had a power over other men so that many chose to join him. Many foreigners joined his council, Scythians and Burgundians and Goths. It was not uncommon for Romans to do so as well. Several decades prior, the son of a prominent Roman family had been sent to the Huns as a hostage to ensure peace. The name of this boy was Flavius Aetius, a name not soon to be forgotten. 